Star Project Chronicle. She's got at least 394 subscribers and around 78,547 views. She could kick your ass in less time than it would take her to make a delicious mug of tea. It's Abigail Dufo. It is Sunday, October 26th, and I am here today to talk to you about friends and gaming. So, here's what happened yesterday. I went to a friend's house, who I hadn't seen in a couple months, and before that I hadn't seen her in about 10 years. And we had been really, really good friends when we were both in junior high and high school. We were in choir together for a long time. And then we talked on Facebook and Messenger, and nothing ever really came of it. It was kind of sad. And then got married to a super nerd, and I got married to a super nerd, and we had that in common, and so finally, we got together a couple months ago, and I was really, really excited, because I hadn't seen her in so long, and we caught up, and it was like, you know, nothing had changed, so, except everything had changed, but we were still really close, and it was really easy to talk to each other, so that was great. So, then we're like, we should get together. I think our, we think our husbands will get along really, really well. So let's have a potluck and a game night. So, we did, last night, and Oh my gosh, I have not laughed that hard in so long. We got there about 6, and we didn't leave till midnight, and oh, we played, we ate all this amazing food. My husband is such a good cook. And I'm sure, to be, if you've made stuff, I'm sure it was delicious. Um, I don't remember exactly what you made, but I know you made a lot of it. Um, anyway, so, oh my god, the food was so good. And then we played Munchkin, and it was hilarious. And then we played this other new game, and I cannot remember for the life of me what it was called, but... It was really, really fun. It was interesting. They'd never played it before. It was brand new to them, and they just opened it up, and we'd never played it before. We'd never even heard of it. And you... The class weapon combos change every time because you shuffle up the decks, and then the, uh... What do you call it? The, uh... You have to, like... If you want it, you have to put, like, negative things on it so nobody steals it, and you fight encounters, and everyone's fighting at the same time, and the person with the most gold wins, and it was so silly and so funny, and, oh, it was just so much fun. And then, <laughs> while the guys were talking, my friend and I just sat back and we uh, played categories, just the two of us, but we did, like, nerds categories. So everything in it had to be, like, nerdy. And it was like, you know, it was just so much fun. And I hadn't seen her in ages and, like, sat down and talked with her and everything. And, oh, it was so much fun. So, I just kind of wanted to talk about that, because that was really awesome. And... I guess, there's a load going, I hope you can still hear me, um, I just, it kind of just makes me really excited and happy to be a nerd, because there are fewer things in the world, I think, that kind of start friendships and forge friendships and help friendships endure than gaming. And another great thing we found out was, they're, the two of them are just getting back into WoW, and they were on the previous server and they didn't like it, and so they were joining one of their friends on their server, which happens to be our server! Nobody plays on our server, so that was really cool. But yeah, it was like, the four of us, you know, having... I'd never met her husband. He'd never met me or my husband, so our husbands didn't know each other. My husband hadn't met my friend. So the only people that knew each other were the couples, the individual couples, and then me and her. And everyone else was like, oh, this is gonna be awkward, but... We ended the night, like, just laughing and happy, and it was great. From just gaming and being nerds and geeky, and it was great. And it just kind of solidified this kind of small little belief in me that you put nerdy people in a room together, they will find something to talk about, and just the greatest friendship can form from it. So, Caitlin and Joel, I love you both. You had a fantastic time yesterday. <sighs> and I'm going to stop laughing now because I'm tired. I'm so tired. And, uh, yeah, thanks to everyone who joined in on the stream for my, uh, friend that was streaming yesterday for charity. He, I don't even know how much he raised. Let's take a look. He's not online right now, but let's go to his site. How much did he raise? He raised a hundred bucks for charity. That's not bad at all, considering he was only doing this for 24 hours. He didn't have his super crazy amount of viewers, but it was still pretty fun. So, yeah, that was a thing. Um, and then, other thing I want to talk about is tomorrow is video 300, which is, I think, a lot. Let's check that. You know, so me, I'm never prepared. Yeah, tomorrow is video 300. I have no idea what I'm going to do for that yet. Um, 
probably I'll do another Q&A, but it's kind of last minute. So what I may do is uh, just hop on Project Chronicle and be like, yo guys, it's video 300 tomorrow, what should I do? And maybe people will help me. But yeah, that's pretty much it. So that is it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and thank you for sticking with me for almost 300 videos. That's pretty exciting. Um, I'm gung-ho to go for the rest of the year, and uh, yeah. I don't know what's going to happen next year, but it's going to be exciting anyway. Thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe if you feel so inclined. Have a beautiful day.